Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the dangers of lithium ion rechargeable battery hearing aids. Coming up. Lithium ion rechargeable batteries are extremely popular right now. In fact, you can find them in a variety of different electronic devices from watches to cars and now even hearing aids. You may have also noticed that lithium batteries often make the news, but not for good reasons. Remember when the Samsung Galaxy Note 7s were just spontaneously catching fire? Or when wireless earbuds were spontaneously combusting, including an incident that occurred on a plane when a lady burnt her face and her hair while sleeping on the flight? Or recently in New York when an e-bike caught fire inside of an apartment building and the residents of that particular apartment were barely able to escape through their fifth floor window. Even an old paper mill inside of my hometown of Morris, Illinois caught on fire because they had 200,000 lithium batteries stored there. That being said, what do all of these have in common? That's right, lithium batteries. In fact, lithium ion batteries catching fire has become such a big problem that you cannot even take a lithium battery and put it in your checked bag when you go to the airport. With all of the safety concerns surrounding lithium batteries, you have to ask yourself, is it even safe to use rechargeable hearing aids, all of which now use lithium ion technology? Well, that is what I'm going to talk about in this video. But before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I release multiple new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it, and I'll just go ahead and take a look at the history of rechargeable hearing aids. For the longest time, hearing aids have been powered by disposable zinc air button cell batteries. They're called zinc air batteries because when you peel the sticker off of the back of the hearing aid, oxygen can get into the battery and mix with the zinc compound, which creates an electrical charge. These disposable batteries come in a variety of different sizes. The smallest is size 10, and the largest is size 675. While these disposable batteries were and are incredibly incredibly reliable, they did have their issues. These issues included being difficult to change if you had finger dexterity problems, inconvenience since you always need to keep spare batteries on you, and expense since you needed to constantly purchase new batteries. These problems led battery companies and hearing aid manufacturers to develop rechargeable battery technology, including nickel metal hydride and silver zinc battery technology. Now this was a step in the right direction, but these earlier forms of rechargeable battery technology had their problems as well, from limited battery life to being incredibly unreliable. This led to the eventual use of lithium ion battery technology inside of today's modern hearing aids. Rechargeable lithium battery hearing aids are becoming extremely popular right now, and this is largely due to the fact that they have much longer battery life, they are much more reliable than before, and they are incredibly convenient to use. Some hearing aid manufacturers have even added more features inside of their rechargeable battery hearing aids to make them an even more attractive option for a lot of hearing aid users. But popularity and features aside, is it even safe to use lithium ion rechargeable battery technology inside of your hearing aids? The answer is maybe. As of right now, the safety track record of major hearing aid manufacturers and their rechargeable battery hearing aids is flawless. Since lithium rechargeable hearing aids started hitting the market about five or six years ago, there has not been a single incident with these particular hearing aids causing injuries to the people wearing them. This is likely due to the fact that prescription hearing aids are considered class two medical devices as opposed to standard consumer electronic devices. This means that the quality control standards for prescription hearing aids is on a complete completely different level compared to most, if not all, consumer electronics. That being said, I have heard some reports of rechargeable cases that have an internal power bank catching fire, but none of these reports are confirmed. The reason I say that rechargeable hearing aids may be safe is that with over-the-counter hearing aids and unregulated online amplifiers starting to use rechargeable lithium technology, it's unsure whether or not these cheaper devices will be made as safely as a prescription-level hearing aid. Just like with cell phones, e-bikes, and 
wireless earbuds, these cheaper mass-produced hearing aids might prove to be safety hazards if the hearing aid manufacturers don't take this lithium technology seriously. While I do expect the major hearing aid brands to continue on with their impeccable safety record using lithium battery technology, I would not be surprised if we started seeing some lithium battery incidents in some of these other online companies that are cropping up out of everywhere. Now, if you think that you're much safer just going with the disposable battery hearing aid option, I hate to tell you that disposable batteries are probably even more dangerous than lithium batteries, especially if you have small children or pets. While still incredibly rare, ingesting button cell batteries can lead to significant injuries or even death if you do not receive medical attention. Not to mention there is always the possibility of experiencing chemical burns if you get a battery that starts leaking. Again, this is exactly why you want to keep disposable button cell batteries away from children and pets, as well as purchasing quality hearing aid batteries, not just the cheapest batteries that you can find. The moral of the story is that any battery technology can be dangerous, whether it's a rechargeable lithium ion battery or a disposable zinc air battery. This is why I always recommend that you only purchase rechargeable battery hearing aids made by a reputable manufacturer and that you take the necessary precautions when working with disposable batteries. At the end of the day, lithium battery hearing aids are safe enough for me to fit them on my own mother. And this means that you can feel safe using lithium battery technology as long as you're using that technology from a reputable manufacturer. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, hearingup.com. Oh.